Hey guys, for Collider News, I'm Natasha Martinez. Studios can get a little intense when it comes to protecting their copyrights, and often rightfully so, but this past weekend Warner Brothers might have taken it a step too far when the studio asked to have its own website removed from Google results because of a copyright violation claim. As reported by BBC, the request was submitted on behalf of Warner Brothers by Vobile, a company that files hundreds of thousands of takedown requests every month. Torrent Freak first caught the oversight and saw that in addition to trying to take down its own website, Warner Brothers also requested the removal of links to official websites for The Dark Knight and The Matrix. On top of that, licensed online movie stores like Amazon and Sky were reported for copyright infringement, and Vobal sent a request trying to remove a link to IMDb as well. So what exactly happened here? Well, it seems pretty clear that it was an error, and Warner Brothers isn't trying to remove its own website from search results or stop people from legitimately buying copies of their movies. Entities like Vobal serve a legitimate purpose, which is to stop sites that profit from illegally selling or even just offering offering free downloads of movies and TV shows. But as Ernesto van der Sar of Torrent Freak explained, piracy monitoring firms often use automated systems to find and report copyright infringing websites. According to BBC, since reviewing the Warner Brothers report, Google decided not to remove links to Amazon, IMDb, and Sky Cinema from its results. For more on this story, head on over to Collider.com and be sure to subscribe to the Collider Videos YouTube channel to keep up with all the must-know movie news.